In this video, we're going to complete our tutorial on Huffman encoding uh, by covering how to decode a message that has been encoded using the Huffman encoding algorithm. So let's jump right into it. All right, so last time we wrote all the code to compress our message. And all we have left to do here is to implement the decompress method, which currently returns null. And the algorithm for this is fairly straightforward, so this video should be, be short. Um, let's start writing the code for it here. We're going to say final string builder result builder is equal to new string builder. And we're going to say node current is equal to result.getRoot. Looks like I don't have that method written yet, which I will write. Encoded result public node uh, get root. Um, int i equals zero. This is going to be an index that's going to be useful for us here soon. And let's say while i is less than result dot get encoded data. We have to write that dot length. And Result is a Huffman encoded result, so we're going to say public string encoded data. Oh, uh, get encoded data. Okay. Mm, so starting from the root of the tree, and and we're going to actually start from the root of the tree after we interpret each one of the symbols in our encoded message. So bear with me here. I'm going to say not occurrence, not a leaf. While it's not a leaf, char bit is equal to result dot get encoded data dot char at i. And if the bit is equal to a one. Um, we can use equals equals here because it's a char, right? I wouldn't recommend using reference equality. Typically, you'd want to use object equality here, but this is a primitive, so we can use the equals equals instead of dot equals. Else, if the bit is equal to zero in the binary encoded message, we're going to do something else, and then otherwise... If it's unrecognized, we're just going to puke. Oops. Okay. So if it's a one, then the current is going to be now updated to be the right child. And if it's a zero, it's going to be the left child. OK, so that's how we're going to traverse down this tree. And then at the outset of that, we're going to say I++ in that inner um, yeah, and then here we're going to say builder dot or result builder, and I'll explain this code in a minute. Um, result builder dot append current dot get the character. And then we're going to basically go back to the root current is equal to 
result dot get root for the next iteration. And we're gonna say return result builder dot to string. I really wish this method was called build. Okay. So that should be it. So a quick explanation of this code is that for each bit, right, we're going to go through this message and um, for each bit we're going to traverse down all the way down to the leaf uh, to, um, in order to determine where that, where that portion of the message starts and ends, right? So we're going to start at the root, we're going to go all the way down to the leaf as long as we're not a leaf and um, and then we're going to append to the result builder the character and then we're going to go all the way to the root again and do that for each basically for each character in our message okay so now let's see if we can um, so we so we started with this message let's just let's have a better message here so let's say hello world and we're going to build the frequency table and the tree and the lookup, and we're going to print that out. And then we're going to say system.out.println um, after we've done that. Mm, hang on. Did we never call compress? I see. So actually, let's update our test case here. Let's say that we just want to say that the regular message is that, and we will delete these, this code. Say final Huffman encoded result. Result is equal to compress. Where do I have an object around this? I need an encoder. That's what it is. Huffman encoder. Encoder is equal to new Huffman encoder. And then we're going to say final Huffman encoder result is equal to encoder dot compress test message. Right, and then we're going to print, uh, and then and then what we're going to say is um, result dot decompress. Oh wait, no, sorry, encoder dot decompress result should print out the original message. Okay, so let's test this out here real quick. So there it is. Um, actually, it might might be a little bit nicer to yeah, it worked. So you can see we just added unencoded message is equal to that. And what if we actually said added one more message? It says encoded message is equal to. Uh, let's just do a two string on result. Uh, encoded data. Right, there you go. So the encoded message here is shown here, and the unencoded message matches uh, what we had originally. So there you have it. Um, encode and decode for uh, Huffman trees. Thanks for your time.